Okay, so that'll give me an extra power connection into there too. And that, that comes to this transformer here. So extra transformer. Good. So pipeline pressure is kind of getting put on hold a little bit until if, if this wasn't winter, I would, I would totally let the rolling blackouts happen. I, I wouldn't care. Um, in fact, we could probably even cancel and suspend research if that takes more power. I'm not sure it does. I guess I could see. So 0 0.03 megawatts. This one here is using 0 0.016. 0 0.016. So if I now take staff and I crank it to 70, right? So let's say we do that. Then as we let time proceed, we should have more professors piling in here. Maybe that's it. And yeah, see, now the power usage goes up substantially. Definitely. Substantially. From having this. But also the research speed is absurd and I like it. <laughs> I'm going to be selfish. I'm going to let these guys just research as fast as possible for the pipeline thing. Because I really want the pipeline stuff done. Okay. And we're down to just 172 tons of steel remaining. Still full on prefabs. You got plenty of prefabs now. Let's have you get your prefabs from here as you're supposed to. That's where you get them now, okay? And distribution office is almost done. Tower crane's on site with six workers. Not the most effective use of the tower crane, but take it. Okay, I just got alerted that we are now out of bitumen in this tank. Which isn't entirely true. We got 6.52 tons left. But uh, we're out. So that means that essentially we're not going to be able to do any more asphalt roads at the moment. Unless I stop exporting bitumen. Which is kind of a big deal. Like exporting bitumen is my whole... It's a lot. Of, there's a lot of money involved in that. I'm going to start pulling vehicles out of this line. And bringing them kind of away from this route. And you just need to bring them to someplace else that's not this. So, go over to this road depot over here, I guess. Um, we'll start bringing cars out of there. And then what I want to do, right, is we're going to start having these guys. Oh, is it that one that's going? Oh. We're going to start having the, the bitumen exporters uh, continue on bringing them uh, or bringing that bitumen back over into here. We could still do a few, right? When that warning goes off... You know, we still have access to it here. I don't know why these buildings don't fill their own internal tanks. Like, there's there's really no excuse for this thing not to pull 30 tons of gravel in. Right? Instead of, instead of waiting for this to be empty and then being like, oh, no, I don't have any. When you're not using any anyway, you should just be pulling this in right now. But, you know, reserving the supply, if you will. But it, it just doesn't seem to be doing that. We're going to need more gravel. So I'm going to put 10 people in this building instead. We can start processing the uh, quartz stone just a little bit faster. Uh, look at this building. Was it always this blue color? I don't know. Wear and tear is at zero now. Efficiency is at 100%. Looking over here. This thing's almost done. 625 work days left on the coal power plant. My God, look at this thing. It's freaking glorious. We're just remaking buildings. They're very expensive buildings. <laughs> Remaking very expensive buildings. Yep. Same thing here. All right. Wow. 50% done. Only 103 days left on that. So it says citizen happiness is low. Like, that's still going to be a thing. I'm not going to be able to handle that until I get the loyalty thing under control. Unable to drink alcohol. Right. 719 people were unable to drink alcohol because there's none in here. I'm not, again, I'm not entirely sure why that is. Because you should be delivering it to that location. Store warehouse doesn't go. It's the pub. You should be delivering this to the pub. And we should be loading alcohol from this source. Which is the wrong source. Well, that would be why. No, you have it, you have it selected from... No, I don't. Because I wanted to empty that of alcohol. So the road cargo station needs to have the alcohol brought back in right there. That's my bad. So I took the alcohol source away from this and I made it this. 
because there was alcohol in here and I didn't want alcohol in here. So now that we got the alcohol out of here, see, it's kind of the same thing with electronics. There's 1.56 tons of electronics in here and there shouldn't be. I don't know why it's putting it in there because it's at 0%. It has been at 0% for the entire time, but yet there's still, it's still in there. So what I have to do to empty that out is either steal one of these trucks and do it, which is, you know, something I could do. I have covered haul, I think. I have a spare covered haul right here. So I could say, hey, go over here, grab the electronics, and then just unload it, you know, into this, and then come back over here, you know, and just come back to this once you're done. And, you know, it'll take the, the stuff out of there. But it's just like one of those things where I don't know why I have to do that, because you should not have placed electronics in this warehouse in the first place. Oh, well. It'll happen now. So we have a lot of alcohol. I can I can sell that stuff again. We're at 277,000 now. They've just rolled over to February, so you know, basically a flat balance now. Haven't really done anything as far as imports go. Not anything serious anyway. And uh, if I take a look at my loan, I'm at 1.56. We could do something about that now if I want to. I can borrow, for example, let's say 1.3. Ooh, that's really it's bold, isn't it? Huh? That's that's this, this is bold. I like this. Borrow 1.3 and then go 1563428. Done. Leaving me with a measly 30 grand. But we're hitting the loan hard. Now I only owe 1.3. Okay? And the payments are much lower. I think my payments now are getting close. They're almost under 20 grand. And you know what? In the stream series, I'm pretty sure I wasn't debt free by the 70s, right? Didn't it take me till. I want to say it took me till the 80s to get debt free, didn't it? So this approach was like really aggressive and purchasing and getting in debt very fast. Um, but that, ag that aggression is going to pay off in the end, right? I mean, it, it is. It's, it's slowly paying off anyway. We need to redo all this area. That's not something we're going to do today, of course. That's probably several videos away because um, I still need to get the worker situation under control. I really want to see my unemployment rate get to about 10% would be great, actually, for my new industry that I want to start. But I'm sort of looking at maybe 6% as, as like a really good indicator that I'm on the right track there. So if I can get a 6% unemployment rate, I can uh, turn in and uh, get chemicals going. That just requires getting more houses and everything, too. So... Um, here's that housing block, a new housing block. It doesn't have a whole lot of power here yet. The electric substation is done, and it will have 52% load once it's built, which is nice. This will have 99% load once these two are built, right? 79% here. So that's good. We, we've got these things pretty well load balanced in that regard. Um, with this thing saying 79, it's important to note that even though this is 1.98, it isn't actually going to get 1.98. It's going to get 1.45 because that's what the underground uh, wire is. So if I want this to actually get 198, I will have to uh, abandon this, which doesn't have any work done on it yet. So I could technically just cancel that. And um, I would have to run an, uh, an actual you know, 235 out that way. But there's no point in doing that, to be honest, because this is being fed from one of those two, three, five. So uh, to be honest, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of going with that. I'm going to need to run another two, three, five out this way to connect to this side. And I don't have anything else to do here yet. So I might have to get this to connect to that one. Yeah, I'm going to have to run an additional voltage or additional wattage. I need more lines, okay? I'm going to have to run an additional power line I want to stay on this side of the road, pretty please. No? Not going to let me? Well, damn. Okay, fine. Right here. And then as spread out as I possibly can. No, you can just come back over here. That's all right. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. All the way over to here. Cheats. Hacks. Right there. I'll just follow along this path to victory, okay? Yeah, just like that. This video is insanely long, isn't it? I'm going to have to cut it up into two. We're going to have to have a part one and a part two to this, this madness. Or maybe I'll just do time lapses. I don't tend to do time lapses 
mostly it, it's a little bit of the editing right the editing that's involved in it and, and the planning but a good time lapse really doesn't work well i find unless you plan for it in advance you can't just time lapse something that you didn't plan to time lapse i've done that before i've tried to do that before and um it never looks good to me because the camera moves too quickly right i'm a play I, you guys probably noticed this i'm a player that likes loves to move the camera Right? I like to look at all sorts of things while I'm doing this. And so if I'm, you know, building things and I'm moving the camera down here and moving to his, and then you play a time lapse and it's like, bleh, 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 you know, <laughs> like you can't, you can't follow it very well. Um, so like if you're doing a time lapse, you kind of have to go into it saying, okay, I'm going to time lapse this. And look at this beautiful thing. 100% productivity again. Wear and tear is back down to 0%. Feels good, man. This one's almost done. We made it through the winter anyway with this thing at 70% productivity. I think we did anyway. Temperature's okay in all these buildings, yeah? Yeah, all these buildings, despite this thing saying that it's at 171%, things seem okay to me. So I think I will go ahead and start this project, at least that. Uh, to get to this, we need a road, and I am going to delete this gas station that has nothing on it. And we're going to connect this road to, to this road. In a straight line, hopefully. Close enough. And then we'll pick you and bring you to there. Okay, and now I can get started on the new heater as well. And that would give us, uh, hopefully give us some law enforcement for the next couple of years here. And because this thing is now done, its productivity is back to 100%. And um, we should now have capacity to actually provide heat to this building, uh, to this, which is going to help reinforce the heat that's in this area, especially as I ex expand to new things. Um, one of the things I wanted to do, and I, that's why I'm probably cutting this into part one and part two, because I never really got to it, is this rail distribution office. So um, let me go in here and see how big you are. You're bigger than I thought you were. I was really hoping you would fit right here or right here, but you don't. You really do need me to move this road, don't you? Uh, this is an option. It's just not a good one. Even this would have been an option, but it's also not a good one. But kind of want this distribution office to be like in a location where it can be really helpful in a, a wide variety of purposes, right? I want it to be able to bring things to stores. I want it to be able to, to move you know, the bricks over to here and the purified panels over to here. And, um, you know, maybe load up on some gravel and take it all the way over there. So we're going to be starting to, to do things with, uh, you know, the steel mill and everything eventually over there. So I wanted to be able to do all those things. And it's really difficult to get that to happen unless you are like in a really good position. This thing's just, it's just bigger than I thought it was. I really was hoping it would fit right here right before the intersection to where like i basically wanted it to start right in front of that road but end like right there on the on the left side so this thing's about 20 percent 10 20 percent uh longer than i remember it being uh it's still doable it just means we have to come in uh from this side and uh enter this intersection first that's all it means. So, like, we can still do it. I just, uh, it's just not going to be quite as good as I wanted it to be. So, rail distribution office would start here, I believe. And I'm looking at the rail on this side, and it needs to go up and over and connect uh, over here. So, I want to, I want to be able to enter on that side and also go in directly on this side to go that way. So, I guess we're going to put you right here and again we're not going to really build this yet because there's no point in building this yet you know i kind of have to kind of have to be further away even still i may not be able to go that way it may just be you always they always come out of here which is fine because this is track builder territory we're not having any through traffic here so this is a really low traffic rail all these other ones are high but this is a low traffic rail and the entire purpose of putting this building here was that the the logistics trains were going to spawn here anyway so i really haven't added any additional traffic that i wasn't planning on by doing it this way 
So I guess there is that to... There's that going... I have that going for me. So how about I go like this? This should give me enough room to add extra houses right here. And then um, we just put a little road here. We're not going to do anything with it yet. Unless they auto-assign it, which they may. If they do, then okay, fine. But we're not going to do anything with it yet. Uh, and then this train would come out and do this. Right before this intersection, okay? So we'd end up doing something like this. The distribution trains would come in from this side, okay? And they could then immediately go that way. They would leave this way and exit this way. And that allows them to go any direction they want because they're gonna start at the uh, at an all-way intersection immediately. Of course, the signaling will be here. So this is all treated as a single intersection, which means the logistics trains will stop here before entering the intersection to go where they want to go. So they'll, they won't interfere with traffic. And likewise, they will be able to come through the intersection and um, not get in the way, because remember, 155 meters, right? Except for this road, but that's just to the heater. And I'll, I can probably just push that that way anyway. Yeah, I can I can just do this. Just, just do this right here. That's fine, too. And... Uh, and that connects them to everything. All right. So, again, this rail network was designed to work for this specific building. And I'm going to have about three of them, I think, working at one time um, as, as we go um, over time. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we're away from the winter. Now, we survived the cold of the winter. We have 70% happiness. Lack of meat is hitting 72 people. Might have something to do with... That's your own damn problem. <laughs> it ain't mine. That ain't me, man. Uh, unless it's a problem getting out of here. I don't think so. You can... No, you guys can all reach. You can totally reach, right? Heck yeah, you can. You can get to the bus stop. You can get everywhere, anywhere you want to go. You can even get over here. Whoa, okay, I didn't plan that. I didn't plan on the, the furthest away house being able to reach this. I didn't think that was going to be a thing. But by the power of uh, asphalt walking paths and the extension of be being 480 meters, that's going to be possible. So, very cool. That means you should be able to reach this building too. Uh, but I don't have this connected because you're not going across. So I think I want to go that with asphalt. This one's asphalt next. We don't necessarily need that one because I still may put bigger things here. So I, I, the ones that cross through here, I'm going to leave those as dirt. But I think it's probably reasonable to have you know a few of these things upgraded to asphalt. And then this walking path needs to cross this road like that too. And then once that's done, y'all should be able to reach that just fine. Yeah, very easily. Okay. Good. All right. South distribution. We'll buy all new vehicles because, like, we're having a hard time repairing them anyway. So, um, we're going to say I want covered hulls. You remember, you're delivering to the repair shops. So, you know, they can't hold very much. And you're not going to make a route that delivers to one and then the other and all that stuff. So uh, we can have really small capacity is what I'm saying on this. I'm thinking, you know, these little guys would be okay. 0.63 tons of mechanical components and stuff. This, this would be fine. These little tiny cars, little tiny trucks. So we'll say one, two... Two of these covered hulls. No, let's let's do three of these. That way we can deliver to all of them at the same time. And then our flat car. Did we fix these yet? No. I mean, I don't really need them. I can I can scrap them actually. Uh, this covered hull right here. This is big. This is a big covered hull. I don't want that. I want the uh, the flat one right here. The one that's moving the prefab panels, we don't need you to do that anymore. Okay, instead, what you're going to do is... Honestly, you're just going to work for this office at the moment. Um, I want the other covered hull. 
Where's that little blue one? Is it you? Yeah, the MZ504. You're gonna work here. And then there's another MZ504. And you're probably sitting in this shop right now. Right here. Yep, there you are. Taking up a repair slot, which is what I'm trying to avoid. Uh, putting you here. Otherwise, if it didn't take up a repair slot, what I would be doing instead is I would just have a dedicated truck. I would say grab steel, then go to this one, un you know, unload, 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 grab steel, unload, unload, unload. And it would just be doing this all day to keep them all done, right? I wouldn't need a distribution office, just one truck going around and doing it. That would be fine with me. Um, very similar to how we did the cement initially, where I dropped it off here, then I went over here, then I got more, etc. Um, but because these trucks, when they deliver, they, they have to pull into a repair slot. I don't want them sitting there, you know, waiting until unloaded for anything. I don't want that. So manage offices. Here's, here's what we're going to do. Steel comes from here, right? And you're going to drop it off here. Nope. Actually, let's do the sources of stuff first. Sources of stuff. We need that done first. And we need that. We need this done first. So I'll change it later. Mm, I really want it in the right order. <laughs> I don't know why I do, but I do. Um, we're going to say that you pull it from here, I guess. So load. Oh, we need the covered holes to be in here first. Yeah, we do. So we'll pull it from the Sonokova warehouse first. And then uh, this is just work days at the moment. So we want to get workers over there if we can. And you don't have to be dedicated to heat anymore. You can go to bricks and stuff too. That's fine. That's very good. Look at this thing. Look at this. This nonsense. This heating pipe all the way out here. Before I can build any of this stuff, I, I gotta have a heater. I gotta have it running. Uh, and then there's this water tower too, which isn't done yet. The pump is done. Everything is done. Except the water tower. And you know what? It's passing through the water tower. I didn't realize that was going to be a thing. But we're actually getting water passing through here. That's interesting. Okay. I didn't realize water would pass through a pending construction. So in a, in a sense, you could like start it. Or at least place it. And then put it on pause. And then decide later whether or not you need it or not. And it would still work. That's what it seems like, anyway. Let's put uh, this little segment. We don't want to block this, because that, that stops the whole buses. So, buses that just have a little bit of a longer route now until this is done. I don't know. I feel like... Have I, have I shown too much today? Maybe that's why we're so long. Maybe I, that's why I ran so long. Because I tried to show too much. I, I skipped less. I'm just trying to cater to everyone. You can't make everyone happy. Quit it. Quit trying. Try and fail all the time. Let's get that road done, too. All right. I'm going to let it run for a little while. I already know this is two videos. So I'm going to let it run for a little while. And uh, I'll be right back. I think uh, big capacity wiring. Where is my cable cars? Hold on. Research tree. Where is it? Where's my cable way? Pipeline pressure's done. That's fantastic. Oh, project cableways. Oh, yeah. So steel cables is done. That's what allows me to do it. Good. Uh, then we can also get our own power grid connection, too, which would be cool. Foreign pipeline connection sounds really interesting. Because, like, then you don't have to ship it. You just you just create a pipeline and you just send fuel always. Which is, like, wow. You know? That's, like, wow. I, I love the idea of doing that. We got to look at that in the future. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to install these pollution filters. Because they're, you know, they're almost done anyway. So I'm going to do that now. And then we'll pop uh, another 30 workers in here. Why not? Let's get the... Uh, party ranking members thing sorted out 
For state infrastructure, this requires secret police research. And secret police research, I haven't seen it. So I'm going to assume that this is after the, the ranking members. Yes, after the ranking members, we do the secret police. Okay, good. I believe we can reach this now. No. Even with the walking path, you can't get there? Sus. Very sus. All right, well, we clearly need to start getting roads done. So I'm going to say that I probably should just let it run for a while and just get a lot of roads done, you know? Okay, so one other thing we can do, right, is we need to get our flat cars up here again. I guess I could just do the whole train, tell it to do a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, but I'm going to kind of specialize it just for a little bit. So I want to take this train now, and we're going to go over to this location we're gonna load a bunch of prefab panels we're gonna come over here we can wait to load it too we can come over here all right you know what? actually no let's just sell them straight from here i don't think there's a reason to go over here and unload them we got plenty of people over there already and there's already trucks doing that let's just take a bunch of these prefab panels from this location and sell them at the border and uh we'll just do this for a while that's a good source of money right First stop is unreachable. Excuse me? Oh, I see. I see, I see. Okay, uh, new plan. Your first stop in this route. Let's erase this, actually. You, need, you actually need to go here first. So, I'll tell you what. Why don't we try this? Go to the border. Ah, here we go. Go to the border and buy a bunch of steel. <laughs> then you're going to come over and drop it off. Okay? Then from there, you'll go here. Pick up the prefab, prefab panels, wait till loaded, and then you'll go back to uh, the customs house and you'll unload your prefab panels, okay? How about that for your first route instead? So we're gonna have you go to the border first. Once you've made your, your steel delivery, we will delete that from your route and then you end up just having the back and forth with prefabs like I wanted. We could do a longer trailer but I don't think it's required. Um, it's gonna cost us more time. It's more fuel and stuff. And um, we can't produce prefab panels fast enough to fill four trailers anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. And see this track builder is not getting in the way. So he's building the faster track right alongside this. The other little one did get in the way just now. The only thing I could think of is that they decided to... I honestly don't know why it was over there. Oh, okay. So it, it built this side. Yeah, it was working on this side. That's fair. I like how this is still a wooden track anyway. So spending a lot of money on steel right now. And yeah, we'll just bring it back. So 142 tons is what's in here. Research is now done. Party members is done. So I want to go ahead and grab secret police so I can start figuring out... Uh oh The poor children. I want to start doing secret police so I can figure that out. And then our pollution filters are going to start getting installed too. After pollution filters, I think uh, maybe we go... Yeah, let's do uranium after that so I can tell where that is just to do it. Um, because we have the pipeline thing now, I am interested in how far we can go. So the underground pipe connection from here, can I... Like, how far can I go? Can I get all the way to that tank? from here that'd be amazing i didn't think so <laughs> but you definitely are longer it's 500 and oh gosh can you get here yeah you can get there on the other side of that which is pretty cool yeah that's not bad i like it because that means i can do this i can put a tank right here do i want a tank here though do I want a tank here? Hmm. Tough question. Assuming it, assuming that pipe can reach this connection, because it is not, not really super obvious that that will reach. It does have to be a little further back, but if I was to place it here, come on now. Let me have that. If I place it here, okay. Um. Gosh, that's that's tough. Does that reach? 
underground from this point over to oh i need another i need another pump anyway well i will i no no i already need another pump because this is a tank not a you can't go tank to tank anyway okay so it really doesn't matter where i place this but i would like to place it here if it fits because i can't place it here so uh let's see if this will work it's really long i love it uh all the way over that is too long however interestingly enough this means we could adjust this entire workflow a little bit and put this pump here because all of these can be longer now right so i could take for example all of these pipes that i was gonna build to this pump from here i can delete this underground uh pump here move the underground pump closer to this location maybe even shift it over here just so it can be out of the way from from this area because there's no road connection there so i can put it over here to make it out of the way that's fine so let's say i put that here uh, it's in the way of a, like all, all the water and everything but if i just duck it underneath i think i can reach it even further we could be good to go. I might even be able to... What if I just stick it in right here? There's no reason why I can't do this, right? Yeah. How far can I go? <laughs> Wait a minute. It's like 500 meters, isn't it? From from this one. It's the furthest point away. So it needs to be... Is this some... Yeah, building in the way. But you're not too far, right? It's, it's not about length here. It's about just like the other pipes. There's a lot of pipes in the way. It is, it is flashing green. I want to see the distance. 566. That's very close. I think that's, like, the maximum I could ever do with this. Uh, so, that's what we're going to try. I'll, I'll, I'll put this right here. And then we'll see if this can reach from here to here. Oh, my God. 558. It's so long. Never had pipes this long before. It's beautiful. So beautiful. I got to duck underneath this. Uh, can you please do that? Yeah, right here. Get underneath it and go like this. No, silly. Don't do that. Do this. There you go. And then you shouldn't need to duck under anything. Oh, yeah. You got all this stuff to duck under. Never mind. Right uh, here. Please. Nope. Get underneath that. There we go. No. Ooh. I mean, that's pretty damn glorious, if you ask me. Because now I get this pipe. This pump can go away, which is just awesome. We could even remove this tank and, and like, get that tank to be over here now. That's doable, too. But it's fine. We get this to here. And now that I can easily reach this pipe now. That tank can be moved up. Like, this tank doesn't need to be here anymore. Potentially in the way of, of houses, right? So this tank can be pushed, I don't know, maybe even all the way over next to this bitumen tank. Hell. You could just put these two things together. I don't see why not. Uh, it had to be on this side now, but if I went to something like this. Like angled, let's say like, like maybe it's angled like this. Right? You can reach this now. Or maybe that's too far away. Am I getting too ambitious? Getting too ambitious. How far can you go? Not that far ambitious. I think it actually does act, that does work. From there to there? Yeah. My god. <laughs> it's amazing. And then I need another pump anyway. No, I don't. Who needs another pump when you have this as your reserve tank? I can just take this and feed it into this pump. <laughs> I ain't gonna stop here. That's silly. How would I stop there? Um, I do want to go around, though, a little bit. 379 and then come around this way and then stick it in the side of this pump right here. 
Oh my gosh, dude. It's so, like, seriously, it's so long. For somebody who's been playing, like, I, okay, so my very first time playing this game uh, was the, the other series that I have on YouTube, the other video series I have on YouTube for, that's not live. And uh, one of the very first things I did when I opened that game up before I started recording was, what can I do in the game that can generate me income, like, right away? And oil was the thing. I've had pump jacks and pipes everywhere. Go back and look at that playlist if you want. Pump jacks and pipes all over the place. It wasn't realistic. That didn't exist back then. And, you know, I was paying for things all over the place. But it was always a drag because, like, I got to route this so far away from town. And there's so many pumps. And you, you can only go, like, 330 meters. Nope. Now you can go even further. Lovely. So with that being done, you know what time it is. Time to figure out this thing. Now, I most likely should extend this, right? I should redraw, redraw all these pipes and move these pumps even further ahead. Same thing with this over here. I should move these pumps even further ahead. Um, but I'll do those off camera because that's that's just something I, I don't think you guys need to see. Honestly, half the things I've done in this video, I probably skipped around. I, I probably cut all around them. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of things that you guys just... Like, you guys don't need to see me... You know, mark an asphalt roads. Nobody needs to see that. Okay. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to do, right? Now we got to get the factory connection done first. So that's a very important thing. And I am going to tell them that it's very important. This warehouse being completed now, though, we can limit these things to being only mechanical components and electrical components. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And go ahead and do this. 50-50. Uh, you know, actually, I'm gonna, just going to amend that plan just a little bit. Okay, 50-50 and also allow, let's say, 10 tons of plastics. So 40-40-20. We're going to do plastics in here too because we don't have a place to put that either. What I want to be done then is for you guys to load that stuff from here. So you're going to pull plastics and these components from this warehouse and then you're going to distribute them to all of these locations. So we're going to say that in this warehouse, you unload these things. And fabric you're going to get from uh, this warehouse because we can pull fabric from here. Maybe I'll even tell you to get it directly from this. But fabric is already being pushed in here faster than we're processing it. Because naturally, this, this building here will produce fabric at twice the speed that's necessary to like if you fill both of these buildings up this will produce twice the fabric that it needs in order for this to work which is why i've got two clothing factories next to each other because the ratio is two to one on these so because i only have one operational though that means extra fabric so we're gonna say that the repair garage uh you're actually gonna pull fabric from here that's where you get it and we'll say you know storage percent over 10 percent but that's only to just make sure that clothing has something in there. So if, if all that's left is like a very small amount of fabric, we won't pull it for repairs. And uh, we'll just allow the clothing sh store to uh, to use it. Although maybe that's a little bit backwards, isn't it? Because then clothing store will just keep using it and we'll never get it. Yeah, that's backwards. Let's just do this. All right. So we want repair shops, right? I think um, let's start with this side. We'll say this warehouse... I want you to unload these things. Okay. There you go. Storage percent. Keep it. You know, 70%, I guess. Whatever. 50%. You're going to end up doing large percentages when you move things anyway. Uh, over here, we're going to say that we want to do the same thing. So, 50s. And it's just like that. Okay. Uh, and then the other repair shop is over here. Same warehouse assortment. With the same workflow going on over here is to give it all the repair uh, items that it needs. All right. Then your next connections are going to be the actual buildings themselves. So if we want this building and you're going to unload steel. Keep it 70%, I guess. Uh, we'll do this one again as well. Keep it 70%, unload steel. And then finally, the repair shop over here. Keep it 70%, unload steel. So we have everything in place now for this distribution office to ensure that it has all the all the resources connected to it that it needs in order to do its job. 
the next thing we have to do then, and I don't think this is actually the right vehicle for that job. I want those small ones, so I think I want to repurpose that one. The next thing I have to do, though, is I need to get the electrical and mechanical and all that stuff over here. And that's what I wanted to use the train for just now. But since the train's not done yet, I'm going to borrow this flat hull. And I'm going to have this this uh, covered hull here. Sorry. I'm going to have this covered hull do it. So I want you to take these resources here and plastic, I guess. Uh, and you're going to unload them here. All right. And we're just we're just going to have that be the route. Uh, you unload these in here until they're until they're full. Okay. They're in different orders now. I love it. It's going to bug me. Here. There we go. <laughs> go. So, for now, we're going to use this covered hull to do it. But I'd like to use the train to do it instead eventually. Uh, we're still selling prefab panels. And we're making them about as fast as we're selling them. Which is actually pretty surprising. I didn't think we would be. And this is at a reduced uh, staff count, too. So, we can definitely... I can definitely see uh, some decent money being pulled out from this. Just extra exports, right? So this will take care of us. This this is going to take care of all the repairs. We won't have to worry about repairs anymore. Um, people will work here. They'll get all this stuff. The distribution office will take care of that. Everything will be great. And then uh, this little cistern here. If I could maybe have you... Uh, just go ahead and go ahead and do your thing. So I, I'm no longer selling bitumen. So that's why my exports are also taking a hit here too. I'm not selling bitumen anymore because we ran out for asphalt roads. So just temporarily, for a little while anyway, I'm going to just be unloading it or offloading it. But I would like to get these two things connected so I don't have to do this with trucks anymore. Um, that's where we get another pump. So we'll say another pump underground. Okay. And uh, this is going to have to be reversed. So it's going to be facing this direction. And it doesn't really matter where it is because it's long enough to support it anyway. So because it's irrelevant where I place it. I can place it, let's say, maybe here. Just out of the road right there. So it's not in the way of any new businesses or buildings that I may want to build in this area. Although, to be honest, that power pole probably needs to move. Uh, and then there's all this room here, too, is available. And that's where a passenger train is going to hopefully come in uh, later. And so this can be underground. It actually has to be underground. And we would bring this underground to here certainly not with waste wasteful giant curves no thanks and uh, then you would end up going underneath this one and connecting there like that and that ladies and gentlemen is how we get bitumen from this tank to this tank without trucks easy 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 game <laughs> not even close not even remotely as easy. It just takes a long time to do everything, you know? That's it. But we're at over 5,000 people now. We got vacancies. Plenty of room to grow population organically. We're not uh, bringing in anybody from the third world anymore. I could. I don't want to. Because it's just spending money when I don't need to spend it. But hey, if those guys add productivity now, then it's actually more valuable to me, isn't it? I actually think that's true. So I'm going to bring in a whole bunch more. They're going to get their education on. And I'm going to turn the work account back on 30 here so we can educate them. Uh, let's turn max 27. Yeah. Uh, I turned down for this one. I, t I turned down the, the workers for one of these buildings. I just forget which one it was. Here. 15. And the sports hall. Although, a lot of times, they won't even use these indoor ones in the summer. They'll use the outdoor ones. I do wish there was, like, a seasonal controller for... I have a whole bunch of these things. This thing might fill up soon. I'm hoping one of these garbage trucks comes over and does that. I may need more garbage trucks. I may need even more garbage trucks. It might serve me well to consider adding another area for garbage trucks right over here. This may be a good idea. Although that's a very busy road though. And I think it's to about time for me to make that asphalt. That's These are really busy roads. 
I can't make this one asphalt very easily. I shut down all the bus routes when I do that. One of the downsides of these bus stations is that because they are one way, they I don't the buses won't leave the other direction. So uh, it is probably in our best interest to leave this gravel and to leave this whole stretch here gravel. I don't believe the buses could accelerate fast enough to necessarily make that matter anyway, since they have to slow down for the corner. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. But I do regret not making this a roundabout because that's a very busy intersection and it's going to constantly be this way. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. I am going to make this a one-way though, I think. So these guys, if they want to go that direction, they're going to have to go this way first and turn around. So this one will be one way in that direction and this one will be one way in that direction. And that will let my, uh, my buses get out and go where they need to go. And then, of course, there's the, the roundabout too. I'm just walking you through everything I'm going to do in my life, aren't I? <laughs> right there, and um, this tiny little patch right there could be done now. That one, I think, needs to be prioritized because I believe it's blocking. I'm out of money. How did I run out of money? Did you buy... Oh! Ooh, I didn't tell it not to buy steel! <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't tell... I didn't tell the train not to buy steel again. I didn't eliminate it from its route. I knew I was going to forget that. Did you, did you guys know I was going to forget that? I feel like you, you had to know right? I was going to forget that, right? Like, he's going to set that. He's going to walk away, and they're going to gonna buy steel forever. Uh, where did the train go? You brought me a ton of steel. Thanks. Hundreds of tons of steel. Yeah, this. No. No. <laughs> no. Stop buying steel. <sighs> okay, so we're out of money. This is not good, of course. Uh, we're going to start getting penalties and stuff, which is not great. Uh, we will just simply borrow 1.3, and uh, then we'll go 1, 2, 6, 0, 0, 9, 5. And uh, that'll hopefully cover us for our penalties and all the other things until we get exports out again. But on the plus side, hello, steel. <laughs> we got all the resources we need for that, but God, that's like I did not plan on buying that much steel. That was that was a mistake. Let's get more workers. I think we need to start processing waste again. We totally could. I just have to tell them that they don't they're not restricted, but as soon as I do that, we stop getting enough workers in coal because they split and they go off to other places and it sucks. And I don't I don't like it. So I'm thinking that's where, you know, just the fact that we have more workers, that's where that comes in. By having more people at the damn bus stop, always ready to go, right? Just, just get them in here. They're highly, they get their education, all right? These are still full, of course. What about these? Uh, not even remotely close. Right, because they didn't have power, and I told them that they couldn't move in. But you know what? Congratulations, you uh, are now a new resident in this amazing 96% quality flat. You can now proceed to walk to the school and get yourself learned. Okay? Learn you some. I should probably make this. This is a, a road where buses come in and I, it's still this. So, uh, yeah, asphalt here, please, as well. And we'll crank that up to highs, too. Are you guys satisfied? All right. Have I showed enough yet? Have we have we done the thing that we're supposed to do? Do we feel we feel accomplished? All right. We got mechanical components in here, plastic, all that stuff is is in here now, and you can see these tiny little trucks. Right. They're going out. They're getting the stuff that they need to bring it over to the repair shops. Right. And they're going to be little busy little bees buzzing around delivering all the stuff for repair shops now. And that's going to let us uh, hopefully start fixing fixing buses. All right. Keeping them up. Got workers in here. All right. I'm just saying. Coming along. I think I'm going to stop this video here because honestly, I've, I've been doing way too much. Look at this nonsense. I didn't realize they were doing this, but they did. They, they finished this bus station. This bus station is done. You don't actually need the road connections on this. 
because this it's a passenger station you only need road connections if you need resources delivered there so if it's not a resource thing like cargo you, 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 walking paths are totally fine you don't you don't need them so that's my pro tip for anybody who is uh playing this maybe for the first time just because something has the road icons doesn't mean that you need to connect it all right this is not required right and that's evident with houses right none of my houses are connected with with roads right they're all connected with walking paths only because it's cheaper and emergency services will use the walking paths to get the people they'll even drive on the lawn all right old man withers is furious uh i think we're good here uh i can see where uranium is now right let's do that you know what let's do that we'll, we'll get a research in get research in for uranium so that we know where it is and then in the next video we'll start maybe thinking about secret police so we can kind of get a feel for where people are for their loyalty i know it's already low anyway and then um you know we can start building this we're not going to be able to work it yet but we can start building this we have lots of steel now so let's go ahead and add that to the list i don't think i want to add workers to it yet so we'll hold off on adding workers to that you shouldn't you shouldn't have this no no uh no construction there for you uh but all the resources can be delivered well, the ground works needs workers, doesn't it? And then they start delivering this. Yeah, okay, fine. We can have that. And then uh, we might as well get these houses added too because we can. So we'll, we'll do that too. Get these done too. Okay, so that's going to do it for me, guys. We've expanded, we've expanded workers a lot today. We got 5,300 people. We got lots of people at bus stations now. I'm really hoping that this is... This is the point where we can look at this and say, hey, look at this. We're doing it, right? It's working. I want us, I want it, this to be the time where we can say this is working, okay? Um, I think I will do a mixed train here after this run so that I can get crops delivered here since we're out of crops. So we can't make any more alcohol. Got plenty in here, but if I can make more alcohol, of course, then I can sell it. So I think I will do a mixed train next. We'll have uh, box cars added to this. So that I can bring in crops. I think that's going to be uh, quite desirable. If I do say so myself. But I'm also losing money right now because of bringing in all these mechanical components and the plastics and all that stuff with that truck. That's that's costing me money too. So just for a little while here until I start selling bitumen again. Um, I'm going to have to take out a loan. And I'll do... I'll go back to one... I think I'll go back to 1.5. Yeah, we'll go back to 1.5 here. Okay. That gives me a good cushion for getting all the mechanical components and stuff sorted away. All right? I think I like that idea. Because this, this truck right here, uh, he loaded chemicals. So that's not fair. I need to get into chemicals too. What are you doing? Other than nothing. Not a damn thing. That's the answer. Not a damn thing. Tell you what. You can do this. You can do this. Right there. You can be the one. All right? The only one. I'll even take the other truck away. I won't even let it do another route. I won't let it purchase another item. All right? Wherever it is, bringing things in. Supposed to be bringing crops. I don't see it. Because you didn't wait till you were loaded. You're supposed to wait till you were loaded. Go back and wait till you're loaded. <laughs> uh, I just can't stop playing this game. That's my biggest problem right now. I cannot stop playing this. It's just... Oh, God, this update has just changed. This update has changed everything. But alas, at some point we do have to stop. At some point it must happen. And you know what? We, we should get the, the one-way roads going here, too, because that would help a lot with this traffic problem that we're just waiting for right now, right? We should get the one-way roads. So I'm going to do that and fix this traffic problem. Ooh, they look fancy. They got a, a, center, a center line now. This is the wrong direction. 
<laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. Love your faces. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you'll join me for the next one, okay? Peace.